We know geothermal is energy efficient, but below the surface, there's a lot more to this HVAC system. Even though on the outside, it seems like a more expensive option, what's inside will give your clients a return on that investment within five to 10 years. It's using far less electricity cost-wise than what you'd be spending in oil or propane to, to burn fuel because we're actually stealing that heat from the ground with the heat pumps. Chris Nowak is a geothermal systems designer at Conoco Energy. He's currently installing water furnace series three units at this development in East Bridgewater, which is a suburb south of Boston. Places like Wayside Farm where they're doing, you know, an overhaul, overall, you know, green neighborhood, that's number one for energy usage on the house is the heating and cooling system. The community uses a closed loop geothermal system, which circulates an antifreeze solution. This particular home uses three types of loops. First, there's the ground loop buried inside a trench outside. Just dig a big trench and then run a bunch of pipes, you know, um, anywhere from five to ten feet below grade and, and can do them in the spiral or just a, a simple back and forth line uh, bedding of the, the trench with, with pipe. Then there's a refrigeration loop, which is the actual heat pump found inside this cabinet. It either pulls the heat out of the ground or dumps heat from the house back into the ground, depending on whether it's heating or cooling. Finally, there's the air loop. That pulls the heating and air conditioning throughout the entire house. When you're heating the house, it actually heats up the house a lot slower and uses a much more consistent temperature to hold the temperature for the house versus trying to do a, a quick recovery. That's what makes geothermal so energy efficient. But before you rush to install it, know there's a catch. Geothermal's not that compatible with those smart thermostats that are so popular today. Home buyers can still benefit from smartphone connectivity, but because geothermal heats and cools so slowly, those functions that stop and restart the system based on behavior aren't as effective. Every smart feature that you're paying for in the Nest thermostat, you want to disable when you're doing the geothermal control. But that sacrifice might be worth it for an energy efficient solution that typically lasts half a century.